In this video, we are going to look at setting up and using ePortfolios. ePortfolios are a versatile tool that can be used for many different purposes. Students can showcase their work, reflect on their learning, share their progress, build portfolios of work, create resumes, share their goals and aspirations, and much more. ePortfolios can be made up of different pages, so you can have pages for different subjects, interests or areas. ePortfolios can be enabled and used by teachers and students. If ePortfolios have not been enabled at your school, you will need to talk to your Schoolbox administrator or a super user. To access the ePortfolio, click on the ePortfolio link in the top or side menu. You might also have a link on your dashboard. The first page you see when you go to your ePortfolio is the home page. This is a summary of recent activity in the ePortfolio and includes recent blogs or journals and photos. It will also showcase students' work. These are assessment tasks that have been submitted through Schoolbox and students have chosen to display in their ePortfolio. There's also a list of the students' subjects. The cover photo on this homepage can be customised by students. Just click on the icon in the top right corner, then find an image on your computer that you would like to upload, and click Open. To add a page to your ePortfolio, click Add Page. Give the page a name, then select from the ePortfolio templates. To help students get started with the ePortfolios, you can set up templates. Templates help scaffold students and give them direction on what should be included on different pages. Templates may have already been set up at your school. If you'd like to set up a specific template for your class or students, talk to your Schoolbox administrator or a super user. The next step is to set permissions for who can view this particular page in your ePortfolio. Users can grant read access to members of groups they are part of for specific pages. For example, a student may want to allow their team members on the basketball team to see their hobbies and interests page. Permissions can also be set for individual students, so students can allow access to friends, siblings or classmates. Teachers have permission to view all students' ePortfolios. Finally, students can choose whether to allow their parents to view their ePortfolio page. This can be toggled on or off. Once you're happy with the name, template and permissions, click Create Page. Depending on the template you have chosen, you will see different components. Like a class page, these components can be moved around by clicking and dragging to a new space. They can also be removed. You will notice that the components may have different titles or headers. This text is intended to help direct students about what they should include in that particular component. The text in the header of the component is set when creating templates. Additional components can be added by clicking on the plus icon. The tabs you see available will vary depending on the template set up at your school. When you hover over the component, there may be additional instructions or directions to help students understand what to include or how to use the component. Again, this is something that can be set up when creating templates. Click on a component to add it to the page or drag and drop to the space you'd like to see it on the page. To further customise your page, click on the slider icon in the top right. From here, you can adjust the column widths using the slider. You can also adjust the colours on components. Select from the top, left or right columns and then use the colour picker to select the heading colours and the content colours. Just remember to save once you've finished. 
To add content to any component, click on the button inside the component. This may be add list, modify, post blogs, images or video. After you've added content to a component, remember to save by hitting the action button at the bottom of the component. To change the title of the component, click on the cog icon in the header and then type in the text field. Work that students have submitted through Schoolbox can also be showcased in the ePortfolio. To showcase work, students need to go to their grades page, then go to the grade report for the subject they wish to showcase work from, locate the piece of due work under the heading Assessments, and click on the trophy icon next to the assessment task. This will add that piece of work to the student's recently showcased work. This will appear on the homepage of the ePortfolio and will also create a page entitled Showcased Work.